Okay, so I bet you guys never thought you'd see this before. Check this out. What? And the plate, oh my God, what is going on? What's up with this guy? What, what's changed? It's crazy. I honestly never thought I'd see the day where I have a plate and mirrors on my bike. It's been like five years or something. And now I suddenly do feel like something's wrong, but you know, comes to a point in your life when well you know I guess simply put I'm just getting old honestly I'm getting old I'm starting to get starting to get wrinkles like wrinkles and uh, getting some hair on my chest my balls are starting to drop so it gets to the point where you just realize that it's not all about what it looks like on the outside even though not having a plate and mirrors may be sexy as hell. It's about what's on the inside. And I guess I'm just at that point in my life where it was worth it to put it back on. I'm just, like I said, getting old. Anyways, and I'm also putting pegs on my bike. Dude, three things. That is just nuts, man. But the reality is, is that the whole thing about putting the pegs on, your, pegs on your bike, like everybody knows that not having pegs on your bike looks a thousand times better. But as soon as someone wants to go ride your bike, a girl, you know, as soon as a girl wants to go riding with you, you got to put your pegs back on. Um, no fat chicks allowed in my right. Yeah, but this bike's a total pain in the ass to put the pegs back on, to be honest with you. It literally, like this crap here, everything has to come off. The battery, the battery tray all of that and now I have my license plate mount there instead of on the ugly ass mount up here so it's just gonna be a total pain in the ass I gotta take it all apart just so someone can go on a ride with me yeah but really the reality is is that everyone thinks that or at least thought that it was crazy that I didn't have uh, at least a plate on my bike you know the mirror is not so big of a deal but the plate was like a big thing how do you not have a plate on your bike like that's nuts. And it's really not that nuts. It's really just a fix it ticket. Um, I mean, it's harassment you have to worry about. If you see a cop, you gotta, I don't know, try and get into a position where they can't really see you that well or just stay out of the way, something along those lines. Um, it's really generally not that big of a deal. Um, but at the same time, I don't know. I mean, you could argue that it's an out because the reality is, is that well, I guess make a long story short, I got pulled over for doing a wheelie. I was going really fast doing a wheelie for a long time. And uh, he, yeah, he saw me pull me over. He actually saw me right as I was setting it down. And I don't even know if he fully saw me, but he said apparently the car next to him, this lady was like giving him a thumbs up for pulling me over like, yeah, you got him, you did it. And I'm just like, God, fuck. Anyways. Um, so he gave me a fix-it ticket for my mirrors and plate. Instead, I got really lucky. Of course, if you're cool with cops, your chances are dramatically increased to get out of it in some way, shape, or form. They're generally cool with you if you're cool with them. I got lucky. I'm trying to do a lot less because I don't want to keep taking that risk and potentially make it so I can't even ride my bike as much or my insurance goes up to a, a, an amount I can't afford. Um, either way. Yeah, so... I think that was one of those moments along with just not really caring as much anymore about that kind of stuff. It's not that big of a deal. The mirrors are a big benefit because I've been commuting, you know, so it actually helps to have your mirrors on so you can see. Um, the reason I didn't like pegs on the R6 was because when you're actually riding fast in your suit and stuff, it would your heel would hit the rear pegs, which was super annoying. Um, it would get in the way, which was odd. Hopefully that doesn't happen now. I guess I'll find out tomorrow because I'm going on a ride tomorrow. But... Yeah, so mirrors, big, very much helpful, because that makes sense. Um, I don't know how it's going to work on the ride tomorrow. I might have to fold the mirrors forward. They actually go all the way forward. I just don't want them in the way, because your head, you know, goes like that in front of the mirrors. So we'll see what happens. Um, plus, now i got to figure out how I'm going to mount the plate, too, so I can get the pegs on, so someone can ride with me, just so I can take them off next week after we're done with the ride. But that's what you do. Just Anyway, I think that's about it. Um, it's not that crazy to not ride with a plate, 
on a car it might be kind of crazy on a bike not so much the cops kind of understand that you're on a bike and I don't know, your shit's more illegal than normal just is what it is but now I have a plate and I just don't want to get it on YouTube and shit like that which is the whole reason I took it off in the first place and here it is my plate on YouTube how does that help in other words the plate and mirrors could be an out if they have to write you a ticket for something at least they have something and then again if you have integrated taillights where they're literally in one assembly that's still legal too because they're supposed to be eight inches apart and I didn't get a fix-it ticket for that so 